Welcome back to Wood Acres. Today we're up behind the goat hut and we're going to be building the stand for my rain harvest drum. I got started here with three tires, but I don't think this is going to add enough support for the drum whenever it gets full. That drum's 55 gallons, so it's going to be almost 450 pounds whenever it's full. And I think those tires might shift at that weight. We did add a center brick column support, but I still don't think that's going to be enough especially when the drum goes empty. I think the wind's just going to blow this off with not a lot of support to it. I was thinking the tires were going to be simpler, save me some wood and time on building something, but I just don't see them working out in the long run. So I do have some pallets that I think I can use and turn them into something a little bit stronger and sturdier so it can hold the 450 pounds as well as hold the barrel in place whenever it's empty before the rain comes. So I want the barrel to sit up about as high as these three tires have held it so I have some pressure from gravity to fill up some buckets. I'm not sure yet how I'm going to do that with these pallets but hopefully I can throw these together and get them to be strong enough to hold about 450 pounds of water and sturdy enough to hold it empty so the wind doesn't blow it away. And of course Echo pups out here to help. Hi huh, bud.
All right, I think I got a pretty sturdy base here for the rain barrel, and I didn't have to get into any of my good wood. It used all scrap materials, and I think it's gonna work out. But I've been wrong before, so make sure to stick around. To recap a little bit, I used a half pallet, and I screwed it to the back of the building, and then I used two more pallets, and I stuck them to both sides of the... Ugh. All right, I'm also laying out a metal gate here, but we'll get to that. I screwed a half pallet to the back of the building, and then on each side of that pallet, I stuck another pallet and brought them straight out to where I could get to the end of the barrel. I chopped them off at the end of the barrel and then stuck another pallet to the face of that, and then I chopped off the excess of this pallet as well. I always try and use every piece of material I can during a project. So when I cut the ends off of this side piece here, I was able to use that one section that I cut off as a back support and tie all three pieces together that were going across that back side. And then I used the front piece to tie these two ends together. And I had to move one of these slap boards around so it would actually span this gap perfectly so I would actually have something to screw into the other pallets with. To raise the drum up closer to the height of the downspout and to give me a little bit of space to fill up some buckets and give some gravity flow, I used some pipes stuffed through, straight through. I had to notch out a little bit for that one, but I just slid them through and set the a barrel right on top. These pipes are definitely not going to bend under 500 pounds. What'd you see, puppy? Oh, good eye, pup. Good eye. Good eye, puppy. Good job, bud. So this pipe are definitely gonna be strong enough to hold the weight of the water, but I'm not sure about the pallets with them just being nailed in and some of them broken. So I'm gonna come through here and shore it up with a couple screws just to make sure everything's held together. So that'll hold the barrel up when it's full of water, but to hold it in place whenever it's empty, if we're in between rainstorms and we don't have any water up here, I wanted to sink it down. So I made the pallets high enough to where I was able to set the barrel down in and it's not gonna blow away sitting down into the pallets like that. Oh puppy. So I'm pretty happy with the way the rack turned out. Next step is gonna be hooking up the barrel and getting a hose bib attachment to the bottom. I did start laying out some of this scrap pipe that we have behind the barn to see if I can make a gate out of it. And I think I can make the gate, I just don't know if it's gonna be too heavy. So I'm trying to decide if I wanna use this pipe or maybe use wood, but but wood's gonna be pretty heavy as well. So I don't know, I'm trying to figure out what my best bet on making these gates is gonna be. Before we finish up, we'll go down and say hi to the animals and give these tires to the goats. Here pup, take one of them. What are you doing, little flip? Doing a little flip. Hey, flop. You got your big ear on you. Chickens. Hi, ducks. Hey, mumbles. Come on, goats. Chickens, how you doing? Goats, you want to play with some tires? Come on, goats. Don't bite, pup. Hey, goats. I'll give you a little setup to jump on or walk on. You guys just want to eat, don't you? Yeah. The goats have been doing good. I want to give them some more space. Echo, what are you doing? Echo's been good with the goats. Tries to play with them like they're other dogs, though. They're not dogs, puppy. Huh? Yeah. Oh, they're going to eat the chicken feed. Goats. You goats. Ciao chickens, watch out. Goats coming through. Come on goats. Come on goats. Come on goats. 
Don't bite. There you go, goats. Don't bite. Hey, come on. Chickens, come on. All the chickens are doing good up here. Goats are still doing good over here. And the ducks are all doing good as well. We've got the khaki camel healing up. It's actually hard to even find which khaki camel is the one, injured one until you get real close. Blue's hair, or uh, hair. Blue's feathers are coming back as well, giving her the time away from Draco at night. But Draco is going to camp here soon. I just have to get a date from the butcher. But we will be getting rid of Draco here soon so all the girls can kind of relax and not get beat up, especially the smaller ones. But Draco is going to be heading off to freezer camp here soon once I can get a date from the butcher. I don't want him beating up on the little chicks and he can't actually fertilize any eggs for me to be hatching next year. And I do want to be hatching some eggs next year. So I will be getting another Drake but one that's gonna actually be more purposeful for the homestead and be able to fertilize some actual incubatable eggs. Incubatable, is that a word? Let me know. Hey, Gina. That's going to be all for this one. Make sure to subscribe down below to follow along with all things happening here on the homestead. We will be getting some new baby chicks next week. The meat flock is coming. You can see me and Echo on the next one. Thanks for watching.